Hey, this is Matt from the Fiery Furnaces. And that's Eleanor from the Fiery Furnaces. Eh. <laughs> that's how they say it in France, we've been told. Or in Belgium, yeah. or French speaking Switzerland. Hello to all you in French speaking Switzerland. We love you. I don't think of so much what I'm currently listening to as what I'd like to be currently listening to. And I would really like to get into uh, Turkish soap opera music. I don't know what kind of music they have in Turkey on their soap operas, especially older soap operas. But I imagine it's pretty bad. My favorite albums of all time are the imaginary albums I haven't heard yet. Like, Turkish soap opera's greatest hits featuring Stevie Wonder on harmonica. Wow. Or Tanzanian lullabies featuring Mavis Staples on lead vocals. That or, would be beautiful. Yeah. Mm, the Icelandic organ virtuoso Gunnar <laughs> Rekriksen. Good month, Doctor. Plays the Beatles and Black Flag. What about you? Well, my life-changing song was uh, Houses of the Holy by Led Zeppelin. I just thought I wanted to sound like that. Uh -huh. Be around that kind of sound. Be around that kind of sound? Yeah. <laughs> well, you failed. Yeah, I know. But there's hope still. Maybe eventually that record will sound like our band to you. That would be the dream. As opposed true. to the other way around. Right. What are some great live shows you've seen on? The first concert I ever saw was the Robert Plant concert. Was it good? It was great, and I got to sit in the second row after having like nosebleed seats. I was ushered up it's, to the front because groupie, I was spotted. I was spotted as a 12-year-old. That, no. that girl's got to sit right in the front. Groupie. Potential groupie. I saw the MC5 play at the oh, festival. Right. MC5, but you know, a couple people are dead in the MC5. So to compensate, they had two people singing Mark Arm from Mud Harmony and then the guy from the Lemonheads. What's his name? Evan Dando. Evan Dando. And Evan Dando, he, uh, he couldn't do it. He sat down on the stage and just tapped the mic. He pretend, <laughs> pretended like the mic wasn't working when it was. And he was like, My mic's broken. He just sat down. And cry, you know, like cry baby. But I don't understand his pain. So. He's usually barefoot, so he probably stepped on a piece of glass. <laughs> Maybe he stepped on some gum. And Stepping on gum is really disturbing when you're barefoot. 